How's it going everybody? Max here coming to you from Los Angeles, California. Now in this update I want to talk to you guys about insulin sensitivity. Now at the end of the day, you are a super organism comprised of trillions of cells. It's important for the health of these cells, which perform a wide range of functions throughout your body, to receive their fuel which is glucose, so that they can perform all these duties which range from cleaning out your brain to helping you move around. Now you've heard me talk about insulin sensitivity before and that's because insulin is the hormone in your body that makes sure that all of your cells from your toes to your brain get fed. Now diet plays a massive role in how sensitive your cells are to this hormone, uh, but there are some other lifestyle factors that really matter as well and so in this update I want to talk about five of them. So for one, sleep is massively important and just a single night of sleep deprivation can have detrimental effects on your insulin sensitivity. In fact, one study published in 2010 found that nine healthy people, five men, four women, displayed less glucose control after just a single night of sleep deprivation. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm not diabetic, this doesn't mean anything for me, these were healthy people. Now, another way that you might consider boosting your insulin sensitivity is by turning up the dial on your air conditioner. Recently, a study found that subject participants who exposed themselves to cooler ambient temperatures experienced a proliferation of brown fat in their bodies. Now, mammals have two kinds of fat white fat and brown fat. Brown fat is metabolically active and actually enhances thermogenesis in the body, which is the body's normal generation of heat, which can increase your metabolic rate and can promote insulin sensitivity. Now that's not to say that warmer temperatures don't provide health benefits as well, and I actually covered uh, the benefits of heat shock proteins in my previous video, which compares the brain to your iPhone. Now the third way that you might boost your insulin sensitivity is by getting or giving a hug. It's true, in a study recently, scientists used intranasal oxytocin and found that by administering oxytocin, it made patients lose weight. Now one could argue that uh, oxytocin, which is a feel-good sort of hormone induced by sex, hugging, breastfeeding, things like that, the patients were probably less likely to seek out food for comfort um, and so could have eaten less. But actually they showed uh, increased glucose control too after just brief administration of that intranasal oxytocin. How amazing is that? Getting a hug can increase the efficacy of insulin to ensure that your cells get fed. The fourth way that you can enhance your insulin sensitivity is through meditation. Now, stress is a major problem in the modern world. It has many detrimental effects on the body. And recently, a study looked at the effect of transcendental meditation on markers of insulin sensitivity. And what they found was that when study participants were put through transcendental meditation training, they fared much better on those markers of insulin resistance than study participants who just underwent basic health training. They also showed an improvement in their blood pressure, which is very good for your overall health, not least of which your brain health, which relies on vascular health. Now, I actually did another video on the brain benefits of meditation, uh, and you can find that video on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel, so check that out. Now, lastly, it would be remiss of me in this video to not mention the virtues of exercise. I happen to be a huge fan of lifting weights, and immediately post-resistance training, there's a dramatic increased sensitivity to the hormone insulin. Cardiovascular exercise is incredible as well, um, and the benefits of exercise really cannot be understated. All right, everybody, that's it for me. My name is Max Lugavere. If you enjoy these, like my page and subscribe to my channel on YouTube and join the Breadhead mailing list at breadheadmovie.com. I will see you next time. Peace.